Hello, welcome to Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. This video is in regards to this new backpack that I just got for my birthday a short few days ago. This is going to be a little review. This is the uh, Frost River Cliff Jacobson signature pack. Sorry for the pause, I thought I saw a coyote. There was a group of coyotes uh, not far from just down that way howling a little while ago, so I was just trying to keep an eye on it. But anyways, um, I got this backpack uh, a few days ago for my birthday, a little gift to myself. And um, I've wanted one of these for a long time, these bushcraft style backpacks. Super, they're just super awesome. But they, unfortunately, they are a bit expensive. I've been saving up for the past six, seven months now. So I can get this for my birthday and jackpot for me, now I have one. So it's made out of like a canvas type of material. I'm not sure exactly the name of it. I would have to look it up again. And it's got this really beautiful leather, these like brass like buckles and stuff. And I, un in case you haven't noticed, I actually undid all of them right now because I can't really do them with my hands. So I gotta do it up uh, with two hands. So. Anyways, uh, I thought I'd show you guys a little bit about the backpack, one of the kind of gear I have in here. There's some other gear off to the side here that I don't normally carry, but uh, I've been carrying this here as my bow for my bow drill kit. I made a hook for my backpack to hang from the tree. I got a second one here. I'm going to carve up soon. Got a little paracord there. So first and foremost, you can see obviously there's my ferro rod and a leash right there. Goes down to the pouch. So I'll show you the side pouch here real quick. So. Also, I didn't know this at the time, it wasn't until after I got this, also has this little nice, nice slip side pocket right here, so I can fit uh, my hatchet or my saw in right in there, so it's quick and easy access. There's nothing in this pouch right pocket right now, but this one here, I got my clean canteen water bottle. I also have my uh, GSI cup, this one's a new one. I just got it a couple days ago. Also, I got the, uh, the lid, as well as uh, down on the bottom, got a bunch of coffees, different style coffees, and there's also uh, tongs, and there's the ferro rod itself. So I'll put the ferro rod down, back down in there. Come on. So there's the tongs for the cup. So obviously these pouch po side pockets, they're big enough for a clean canteen, one liter bottle, as well as a GSI cup and a lid, as well as tall enough so I can fit a little extra stuff down the bottom too. So I'm underneath this uh, man-made shelter here, so I gotta come around to this side here to show you what's in the other side pocket here. In this side pocket here, I actually just have my tarp and 10 stakes in here as well. I'm actually gonna get rid of these 10 stakes real soon. And that's one of the reasons I'm out here in the woods today. I'm gonna find myself some sticks and make some 10 stakes out of, just for fun. This is a little tr tricky to get out, but that's my tarp in there. It's a woods tarp, I'm not gonna, since it's tough to get out one-handed, I'm just gonna leave it in there. My other side, swipe pocket, I got uh, my Grand's First Brook Wildlife Hatchet. And I also have my Silky Salk Envoy. So, we're gonna come back around and show you what's in the main compartment. Let's make a little room here. So let's open that up. So first things first, when you open up the main pouch, there's a nice, uh, nice uh, two little flaps here with another belt buckle that keeps everything in and together. I opened that as well. So some things in here I don't always carry with my day hikes. I've just been carrying them lately for the sake of uh, bushcrafting work and stuff. There's a piece there for a bow drill, base platform. Here's another one. I, I'll be straight up honest right now. I really know, I know very, very little about bow drill kits. My first bow drill kit was actually made by somebody else. This one here, uh, was this was given to me the bow the bow itself I made myself and the spindle this one here this is about a foot long this was given to me by somebody else as well so that somebody gave me these two pieces right here 
It's a little catch for the amber. Here's a spindle I made yesterday. It's a little damp, so I gotta let it dry out a little bit. So I got smoke from it, but I wasn't able to get an amber. And the uh, handle piece is in here somewhere. I'm sure we'll get to it shortly. But here's a nice pad for sitting on. I got my little grill in a do-it-yourself uh, packaging. I also have my journal, which is something I don't always carry. I just started carrying this just recently on my last camp out. Just, this is just uh, not everyday writing. This is just for when I'm on hiking and camping. I just write in it when I'm hiking and camping only. So I'll put that there. I've got my hammock for hanging out in the day. This is the Grand Trunk single hammock, dark green colored with the straps attached to it. This I've been carrying around with me almost all the time now for day hikes as well for camping out. Here's some spare paracord rope for the, for the uh, tarp as well as for other things as well. This is a uh, little pouch here inside there is some work gloves, some wool gloves as well as a spare scarf. And I think there might be a hat in there as well. Try to pack it up as small as I can. Oh, there it is. This one here, this is the handle for the top of the spindle. And it's got a nice bearing in there for, I think it's from a skateboard. Like I said, this wasn't made by me. This was made by someone else. So this piece, the board and the spindle was given to me by a friend of mine. The bow I had to make myself. But it works and it does really, really good. So I can only imagine he drilled into a big hole, slipped this in, glued it in place, and he just put the tip of the sharp spindle right in the middle there. And it spins and it spins really freely and it works really, really good. So I'll be keeping this around for a long time. Uh, for the sake of food wise, just a Mr. Noodles package. I don't want to carry too much food. I don't want to carry too much gear. I'm trying to keep everything down to a minimum. So, you know, small little stainless steel cup and, and a lid. Cook up this for lunch and that's what I really need. If I'm stuck overnight, I can survive overnight just fine with the tools that I have. But again, you know, it's not uh, meant for staying out overnight. And of course, I'm sure some people remember this right here. This is my little do-it-yourself leather tinder pouch. I got a whole buckload of tinders, jute twine, some birch barks in there. My flint and steel kit is in there, Bic lighter, small ferro rods in there now. And this is what I've been carrying around for my day hikes. You know, it looks really big and stuff, but it's actually quite lightweight. It's very lightweight. And I could squish this down a little bit extra if I so needed to. So, that's everything. Now, I'm sure some people are wondering what this is the size... Oh, wait, sorry. I keep forgetting about this pouch right here. I just keep forgetting about it over and over again. I got some TP in there for obvious purposes. I also have my bush box. Bushcraft Essentials, Bush Box, uh, Pocket Stove right here. And there's also this pad right here. It's like a flame retardant uh, pad. And now that's everything. Sorry, I keep forgetting about this pouch. Well, actually there's more to it than this. There's also this little flap here with a zipper on it. I got some little small odds and ends, you know, like a spork in there. I got a, a, a small compass little signaling mirror, just, you know, little odds and ends, nothing special, nothing important. So the size of this backpack, uh, capacity-wise, is a 17-liter uh, capacity, but with the top flap being adjustable and all with the straps, it can jump up to, I think, about 26 liters, give or take. But I'm trying to keep my stuff down to a minimum, but, you know, this is what I have in my, in my bag. You know, like I said, there's some things in here, like the bow drill kit, I don't always keep in this bag. But it is a bushcrafting style backpack, and I want to carry some form of bushcrafting stuff, and I want to do some more wood carving related items and such. For the straps wise, the straps are pretty straightforward and basic. You know, it's a nice, uh, good material, good strong stiff, as well as the leather on the here leads to a, like a belt buckle style thing, so it's adjustable on the bottom of the backpack. There's no uh, strap that goes across the chest area, but that's not a big deal. So, this is my backpack, my new bushcrafting backpack, so it's pretty good overall, and I'll see you around till next time.